I'm going to share my experience trying to bias my Fender Deluxe hot rod uh, amp based on a guide that uh, is named an official uh, hot rod Deluxe owners um, that I found uh, on the web. Um, why am I going to to be as my amp because uh, I noticed some problems. Uh, my clean sound isn't, isn't good enough uh, when I go beyond uh, 1.5 in the clean channel and I have 12 points to go up. Uh, when I pass that value of 1.5, the sound be be becomes uh, to saturate and to distort. And to my opinion it's so a low point to have saturated the clean channel uh, another feature i found that concerned me is that one of the big tubes the power tubes in this power section of the amp this is the preamp section with the tiny tubes this is the power part with the big tubes one of them is always hotter than the other. It's lighter, the, the, uh, it shines more like orange, and it has a browner color that uh, it shows it, it's going so hotter than the other. So I, I, I read about uh, biasing. What is biasing an amp is choosing the correct electricity that goes through the power tubes uh, because when it's too low or namely cold uh, cold bias uh, you got a, a bus in the lower frequency that is called a, a crossover uh, distortion and the sound you get from your amp is, is described as uh, stereo uh, on the other hand, with the, you got too much electricity passing through the amp uh, power tubes, uh, you get this problem that you you don't have uh, the the gap enough of clean sound in the clean channel. It becomes to saturate too quickly, and also it because your tubes are running hot always, uh, their lifespan shortens. So concerned with that. I read this guide and I have encountered some problems. I took the, the back panel and then I uh, we're going to use a multi-tester and the black probe, which is the ground one, uh, is, is uh, set it uh, here in any part of the chassis with a clip. Uh, we're going to to put on the the amp. Uh, ideally, we will need the amp to be uh, running uh, at least thirty minutes to the amp, the valves to get uh, warm enough to get good lectures. Uh, this procedure. Uh, Biasing a amp uh, is is dangerous because uh, uh, inside this model uh, runs uh, around 420 volts inside. Uh, no matter it's not uh, plugged to the electricity because it has capacitors who may. Uh, may have uh, electrical current inside uh, for as many as uh, many many weeks uh, before it's off and unplugged so there always is a potentially harmful electricity inside so to diminish that risk we have to isolate the amp or working in this case i'm uh, using a carpet and a plastic uh, film over the carpet, as you may see in the corner, um, I have the um, isolated from the wall with a, a leather uh, glove 
while we're working, uh, I'm using a uh, um, rubber, rubber uh, uh, shoes. Uh, and one important rule is to, to to work only with one hand inside at a time, one side to avoid making a circuit, a circular circuit in which the heart between our arms is going to be attacked with uh, by the uh, amperage and producing a arrhythmia and death. So only one hand at that time, please. Uh, never, never use the the guitar plugged uh, while you are touching inside the amp because the same reason uh, for biasing the uh, we have to biasing requires that there there is no signal inside the amp while you are taking the lectures and calibrating it so the guitar is unplugged and all the volumes and related uh, the the drive, the, the master, and the volume all are in zero. Uh, so we're going to take a lecture, uh, all based in this guide I found in the web for hydraulic Deluxe owners. So uh, we're going to use a multitester uh, to read uh, the bolts of the valves, we have to switch from the, we're, we don't know which values we're going to find. So we're going to start with the greater values and we're going to uh, read, uh, take lectures of the lower ones until we have a, we, we got some appropriate lecture. Um, this guide uh, is for, Hardware looks the uh, arms which may may come with a GT6 G, uh, GT6L6 GC valves from Fender, uh, which have a range an ideal range of 60 68 millivolts usually to 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 have a correct bias to. Uh, but we may have uh, a range here, a range with this uh, pot, trim pot, uh, from uh, 50 to the left to 100 to the right millivolts to work with. And usually the middle point, uh, and the, the best point, uh, the standard is like 68 millivolts for this type of tubes, the GT6 uh, L6 GC, the, it's the standard from, from fabric by Fender. Uh, so uh, the guide says we're going to, we have to switch the standby to off. So we're going to take the lecture. At this point, uh, one point for the lecture is uh, the chassis for the black uh, probe or lid, and for the red lid or probe, uh, we have to choose this voltage input or plug. So uh, we're going to, to put it in uh, the, the highest range uh, we got here, we got, we have no lecture. So we'll enter the next, no lecture. We went to the next, no lecture. No lecture. So we may expect we have a, a correct lecture around 68 here. No lecture. So what? Uh, 
I was thinking how to make some variation, so I thought maybe I would uh, I will get the the stand standby switch on on. So I found that here. We found uh, a lecture of 35. I mean, 35. So, in the range of respect uh, below 200 millivolts, we have the same. We have 35 millivolts. How could it be if we? Must expect a range midpoint of uh, 68. I was wondering why uh, I found that uh, we are in the mm, uh, fabric calibration that is right, just right in the middle. They put a, a seal of a brown painting to, to mark it. And if we if we make uh, if we change it, we we must go all full to the left, and we have a lecture of we have a lecture of the left, the minimal of 25 25 and and to the right 25 and there we have a maximum 25 to 40 maybe 25 to 40 and we were expecting 50 to 100 i can understand that so, uh, I was wondering why, until I noticed that this is a fabric, a original from fabric, uh, Fender Hadra Deluxe. Uh, I bought it new from a store, a guitar center, but the tubes that have the sign on Fender, they're... Uh, there are not GT6L6 GC as expected from the guide, but are if we stand on the guide, these are tubes of a so bad company that is named Group Tubes. We have the brand here, Group Tubes. They are not good ones and it's not okay to these tubes to be set it in this amp these are the they are in the list uh, an owner must avoid because this person the person who who made the, the guide is so has so much experience and Look, you have here this brand, Group Tubes 6L6. Practically every time I get an email from someone complaining about the round, how it cramped, they, they, they uh, mentioned that the round were fine before they installed this type of tubes. And what is made scary is that the tube, that yamp, never return to the previous uh, sound even if they uh, put on the old tubes so it seems this kind of tubes uh, ruins the amp do not use this tube after all the emails i've received i can only determine that this one is an amp killer So stay away.
I can no longer find this tube on group tubes from weight side. If you use any of these tubes, do not be surprised if the tubes go and the amp goes with them. So, maybe it may explain why this tube is getting hot, harder I, and explains why I don't have a clean channel. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to... to Uh, because the bias has uh, like three steps. The first one is uh, putting the the Miley bolts uh, that one may expect. Uh, in this case, well, not in this, but in the GT6 L6 GC uh, 68 volt milli bolts, we have here set it in the middle, like around 35 milli bolts. So I will try. I will try uh, to make the, uh, the trial. I will connect the guitar and the clean channel so I may do the procedure as if I were uh, biasing by ear. I should expect to have a clean sound even until six in the clean, in the clean channel. So I'm going, I, I'm using an attenuator. We're going to prove in this uh, lowering the point to the left so we can maybe clean up the saturated sound up to the 1.5 that is usual in this amp and the other point is uh, I'm going to to change because this this uh, what this is telling us is that these tubes are mismatched one is harder than the other, one is browner than the other, so they are they are, have become mismatched if they sometime were matched at all. Now we have we know this a group tubes is not a, a reliable brand, so I will have to I'm concerned I, I may have to do this uh, quickly because uh, we have read read that this is a killer amp tube. So uh, I may have to find a replacement quickly. So I'm going to plug the guitar and we're going to make this trial so we can uh, confirm if this is really really changing our uh, so our sound uh, excuse me we're going to go with the biasing to the left to, to confirm let's go to the extreme left so we confirm if there if it's uh, an a bus in the low frequency that as described. It's Point usually it was saturated. Confirm it by turning the the pot 
to put it the bias harder so we might confirm that at this point we must have a saturated sound. We're putting it on the extreme. I'm not touching the inside while I... Again, at the middle, where I may, where it was originally, and all I, I understand, I have to do is, I I can understand why I don't have the correct tubes here, uh, why Fender sent me this this tubes and all I know is I have to change them as quickly as I I I can in order to preserve my my amp life I I wish this is useful for you ones that have a, a, a also have a hard rod deluxe fender amp uh, you must want to check out why type of uh, which type of tubes you have and maybe avoid this uh, or change it before it, it, it harms your amp if you doesn't have the original which it was designed which was the GT 6 L 6 GC tubes yeah, well uh, peace out <laughs> 